Running a brokerage is hard work. So whether you're focused on building your own sales pipeline, hiring the best agents, leveling up your team's production, or protecting culture you've built, you're in the right place. Real estate brings the challenges, and we share the solution. Welcome to the show dedicated to broker entrepreneurs. Welcome to the Brokerpreneur Podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Brokerpreneur Podcast. I'm Dr. Ben Spears, the doctor of flow. I am here with the big guy, as usual, taking a big chug. Yep, you call me uh, in the middle of that. <laughs> Matt, bye. What's up, Matt? I'm doing uh, I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking, Ben. Yeah, I knew that's <laughs> what you were going to say. That's how it was. He was like, what's up? He was trying to trick me into saying something different. <laughs> yeah, I'm that's... doing fantastic, and there's a, there's a lot up. That's what. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, I want to make sure that we bring our, we bring our guests on, <clears throat> you know, uh, yes, you're in for a treat because this is a referral from Scott Mason, Absolutely. one of our favorite people yep. um, on the planet. And let's bring on Laron Barton. He's a writer, author, speaker. We're going to be talking today about uh, the power of ask, um, which we've had a little conversation with him before, but it's going to be absolutely amazing. Laron, how are you doing today? I'm doing really good, uh, Dr. Ben and Matt. How are you gentlemen doing today? Yeah, fantastic. Excited to, excited to dig in with you today. Wonderful, man. Me as me as well, man. I'm I'm definitely looking forward to this conversation. I'm confident that it's going to be a really good one today. For sure, and we we kind of have a had a, a small conversation, a little bit about the weather, right? Because here we are, we're uh, in Florida, and it's 80 <laughs> degrees. Tell us where you are. What's up there, man, bro? Right now, I'm in Portland, <laughs> Oregon. It is 42 degrees outside. It is <laughs> rain. <laughs> You know, it's it's like the day's already starting off bad, but <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, we have to sort of uh, journey, uh, journey, journey through it. You know, it's um, you know, like, you know, as I said, it's 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 eight twenty five, and you know, it can only get better from here, though. Yeah, that's right. I love it. Love the attitude. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, we're gonna try and make it at least for the next twenty minutes. We're gonna try and make it just as good as we possibly can, yeah. Laurent. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Doctor Ben will be the sunshine. How about that? Yeah, there's that. Uh, I'll there you bring, go. Yeah, I'll yeah. bring the heat. Go and so, it, <laughs> so uh, absolutely. So the the, the power the, the power of ask. Yes, right? sir. You know, uh, you became a writer. You became a speaker. And tell us just a little bit of a ba- of your background of how you got to you know kind of where you are. Sure. So uh, writing is my favorite thing to do. It, it's the best thing that I know how to do. You know, I've been writing since since I was a young lad. I mean, I started out was writing, just like creating like my little comic comic books where I would take pieces of paper, I would fold them in half, and I would write, and I would have these really horrible drawings. But like, <laughs> I would just you know go from that. You know, I mean, I I always loved to read. I mean, I was you know you would always catch me with a book in my hand. And so I began to write my own poetry, and from and from there I, I wrote a play in high school that was terrible. You know, people <laughs> laughed at it, but it, it everything it it just sort of built from there. You know, in uh 2013 I decided to start writing professionally. I published my first book, Straight Dope, a 360 degree look into American drug culture. Y'all, that was uh, inspired by the late great. Um, Studs Turkle, you know, he's one of my favorite writers. And from there, you know, two years later, I published another book. Um, All we really need is love, stories of dating, relationships, heartbreak, and marriage. And then I just began to just write essays about um, meeting my father, relationships. Uh, Then it turned into uh, subjects about race and mass incarceration and politics. And for me, it was all about telling my story and just trying to let the world know that I'm here and also encouraging other people to not only tell their own story, but to, but to realize and to believe that their story needs to be told and their story is valid. Yeah. I love, I love that. You know, that's one of the things from from the, from the get when we were starting our podcast or any other podcast I've ever listened to, I just, I've always said like, everyone has a story. Absolutely. Absolutely. And everyone's story is amazing. And everyone's story is, 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 um, you know, true, true to them and different than anyone else's. And so and everybody's is easy and everybody's is hard and everybody you can learn from and everybody brings things to the table that just help everybody if they can just get that story out. So we, we love what you're doing, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, well, I'm gonna, yeah. So I'm going to take it from the, the title here, the power of ask. And I'm going to ask you a question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is the power of ask? 
It's a good question. For me, Dr. Ben and Matt, the power of ask is just simply being courageous enough, being bold enough, being confident enough to ask ask a question, you know, hey, you know, how did you do that? Ask, hey, yeah. can I be involved in that? Ask, hey, are you still accepting applications? Uh, asking, hey, can you look at this? Uh, ask, may I, uh, may I be a part of this? Because what the power of ask is, is it's, it's all about putting yourself out there, right? It's all about saying, oh, okay, well, you know, I don't have nothing to lose. Uh, if, if they say no, I'm exactly where I, where I was Absolutely. a couple seconds later, you know? And so a lot of, uh, a lot of the um, opportunities that I've, that I've had in, in my life have just been because I've, I've just, I've just asked, I'm like, Hey, like, you know, um, I'll, I'll give you a great, a great example for that. And this just kind of en encompasses, you know, my, you know, my life. Uh, at the time I, I took my former fiance to dinner for her birthday uh we had a dinner at this place in san francisco at a what they call a chef's table and for any for anyone that doesn't know what a chef's table is is it it's it's a special table in in, in the restaurant that you sit down and you actually get a chance to see that the chefs and, and the cooks prepare the meals and they come over and they explain this is what x meal is and this is what the next meal is and so i'm just sitting here you know uh, we're having conversations and I see this plate of sliders. Mind you, this isn't a part of my meal, but I just asked one of the chefs, I'm, I'm I'm like, hey, can I try that? And he was like, yeah. And he just gave me a slider. Now, people may, may kind of think that that's goofy, but what that says is that, you know, just ask, man. I mean, like the worst thing like that th that they can tell you is 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 no. And it was a really good slider too. So, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, but uh but still man it, it's 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 all about just being uh, just being bold and 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 being courageous dr ben and matt that's that's what the power of, of ass boils down to yeah, yeah. I, I so i i love that and i, I think that uh, there's there's a powerful part to this for brokers right i want to i want to make that's sure that's getting right ass yep all right <laughs> so uh so a real estate broker sometimes they they come across or they feel like everybody looks at them to have all of the answers Okay. Right. It's one because of their experience. Two because of the role that they're in. They they really have a lot of liability that they take on <laughs> as soon as they become a broker and other people are working for them and their licenses are being held that way. So sometimes, if we're not careful, we get into a position where we feel like that that we have to have all the answers. The right. Sliders that you ask for. I think this is probably the, the when you said that. I think this is probably the coolest thing that that I thought whenever you said it is. You probably made that chef's day when you asked for that. Yeah. 100%. Of just being able to share that with just one person, he was actually able to share that with, with you and get your feedback. And then he was going to share right. it with people that actually weren't. All that is just everybody wins in that situation whenever you ask with, with humility, right? You know, um, I, I always say like one of the biggest forms of, of flattery, Matt, is asking for someone's opinion, asking for someone's feedback. Because what that says is that you value who they are and what right. they bring to the table. You you know, for me, if someone comes to me and says, hey, Laurent, I want you to read this. Tell me what you think. That, that says to me, wow, like, you know, you actually value me as a writer, me as as a as a thinker, what I, um, you know, my my viewpoint. And so, yeah, man, it's it's a, you know it's one of those situations where we all where we all win. So rather than just, you know, give somebody props on, you know, what they, you know, on what they look like, what they, what they buy for me, one of the best forms of flattery is let me get your take on, on this. And that yeah. just builds a relationship and that just, that builds that person up and you're also getting help as well. Yeah, that's, that's so, that's so true. And we talk on this podcast, you know, to all of our, our broker, our audience, about how we always want to lead with value. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course right. we talk about, we talk about questions, but, you know, we also talk about, you know, giving things, inviting them to things Absolutely. and that kind of thing. Uh, but, I, but I want to go back to exactly what Laron was saying, whereas asking a question can be the value, can be the value, Absolutely. can be giving. And that's such a, that's such a great point. And, and too many times, you know, when brokers are looking and they're saying, 
like, uh, what's your favorite number to track in the market, right? right? They're asking the wrong questions, right? There is right. someone asking the wrong question. But Matt, let's talk to our brokers for a second. What are some of the questions that they could be asking other agents in their market that they want to come to their brokerage mm -hmm. uh, that would be uh, valuable? Yeah, just just what, what LeBron was saying. I mean, you got to kind of meet them where they're at. Hey, Dr. Ben here. I hope you're enjoying this episode. If sometimes you feel overloaded or alone when it comes to building your brokerage, I want you to know that we are here for you. There's so much support available to agents, but hardly any dedicated to brokers. I want to personally invite you to schedule a complimentary strategy call where Matt will help you build a three-step profitability plan that will immediately produce results. This is not a sales pitch. There's no obligation. Simply click the link in the description below. Now let's get back to the show. He was in the kitchen in the kitchen, looking at what the person was doing and said, Hey, do you mind and something that you did, you built, you created something that was important to you, something you were getting ready to share somebody else with that. Do you mind if I take a look at that? Cause I'm interested in it. That's literally what he said about the, about the sliders. Brokers can do the same exact thing. Hey, I noticed that you just got this listing that was 1.8 million and it was the top listing in this, in this neighborhood. Do you mind if I ask how you connected with that person? Right. The the real estate agent at that point could could absolutely push back and say, no, I'm not going to tell you how I do business. But is that really the agent you want in your office? Think about it. Absolutely. I mean, that, that gives you that chance to have that conversation with them and say, hey, tell me how you did this. And there's going to be so many times that brokers find out that that agent wants to talk about that. They want to share because they're proud of that because it, they did do something maybe that was outside the box. Maybe that took that little bit of extra energy and you're acknowledging that whenever you ask them about it. So I, I Leron, that's that. Am I missing anything? I mean, that, that, that sounds no, like man. what you're saying. You know, so um, one thing about the power of ask is that um, I, you know, someone would, would always say, I like to live in, in abundance, right. Versus uh, versus scarcity. And so many times when I've, uh, when I, when I've asked people for, you know, how, you know, how did you do this? How did you get here? People are more often than, than not ready to, ready to tell you, you know, when someone comes to me and asks a question, you know, Laurent, how did you get a TEDx? How did you get published? You know, how do you, how do you speak? More often than not, if I have the time, I will give them an answer. I'll I'll sit with them. I'll you know I'll put a cap on my time, of course, because you know I've I've got eighty million million things going on. But I realize that you know if one wins, we all win, right? And so we have to live in abundance to uh, to where information should be shared freely. And, you know it it uh, it shouldn't be like sort of gatekeep to only like a a small portion of people you know what i mean like information and knowledge is to is to be shared and like why would you not want to help someone out i mean someone helped you out right so right that's it's 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 the power of ask from a different angle it's people asking me and i'm more than happy to give knowledge and to give advice yeah, that uh, and that brand, I actually have this question written down that I wanted to ask you. Um, that's a perfect segue. The fact that you love asking questions, and Matt can attest to this, I'm the same way, right? I love I love learning in any form or fashion. The fact that you love to ask questions makes you open to other people asking you questions. Hundred percent. Right. Like, you you know, you you want to share just as, as much as you want to learn. Uh, let's let's talk about let's talk about that just for a second. Yeah. I mean, I mean you know, listen, like um, no. In 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 America, in the business world, we often think, oh, this person has made it on their own. They 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 built this it's 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 very individualistic when it, when in actuality like everyone's gotten help every, everyone's gotten a break everyone has had I mean, like sorry many people have had a mentor to you know point out things that they can improve on and so for me i i i love to help out because i know how hard it is to get started you, you know i i've 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 had many setbacks, you know, I've, I've had many failures, gentlemen, and Dr. Ben and Matt, 
if I can do anything to help you get along quicker than what than what I got here, then I'm okay with that. See, here's the thing. Your success has nothing to do with my success, right? So if you ask me for advice, if you ask me for an intro, then, and if I give you that intro, and if you go on to do incredible things bigger than I am, well, I mean, that's, that's, that's great. I'll give you an, an example. Uh, I have a colleague, her name's Chloe. She wrote a piece for the Harvard Business Review that was massive, right? And it was because, you know, she saw me writing for the publication. It's like, hey, how do I get in there? And, you know, we're just talking. I'm like, you know what? Let me give you that introduction. So I introduced her to someone and they created a relationship and it just blossomed from, from there. And it was her asking me. So oh, yeah. it's it's all about me paying for it, but, but it's also understanding that, you know, we we should not be be selfish with our resources be, uh, because again, I live in abundance and I'm an I'm all for folks ask folks asking me questions. I mean, because I ask a gang of questions every single every every single day. It it doesn't make you and um, and I really want people to understand this. When you ask a question, it doesn't make you any lesser. It's just that you mm -hmm. just don't have the information. And gentlemen, when I was younger, it's, instead of asking questions, I, I would uh, I would assume and I would go off of this assumption and I would make decisions and, and and I would often fail. And so I realized I'm like, okay, let's pause for a second. Why don't we start asking first? And the question that is not asked, that's the worst question in 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 the world. Completely agree. So so that that brings a I'm, I'm gonna give you an example. I love the abundance conversation because sure. I came across something in a book I was reading. I want to share that. But before before I do that, the, the, you, you brought up something really important, and I want to make sure that I that I piggyback on it. Uh, so, you know, there is there's a lot of people that love the effect of compound interest, right? A lot mm -hmm. of people would would be like, if I've got this much money and I can compound daily at this high interest rate, I'm going to absolutely win. And so sometimes people don't realize asking a question, especially on something you already know, is like compound interest. Because there are so many times that you can ask a question that you have from your perspective, the answer, and then somebody will say something. And it's not like the entire thing that they say is just revolutionary to you most times. But what happens is it adds a little bit of compound interest whenever you get their perspective. It adds I a like little that. bit more value to what it is that the conversation that you're having with them, because it takes things to that next level because you do have an understanding already. So many times people miss the opportunity to compound the interest on something because they're afraid to ask the question or they think they know already, right? So that's that's the first one. The, the abundance versus scarcity thing that you were talking about, this this just blew my mind when I heard this when I heard this example, right? So uh, so this this guy was talking about, uh, you know, when he realized he had a, he had a shift in his abundance mindset, this is what caused him to have the shift. He was right. thinking he was watching somebody eat at a buffet in Las Vegas. And this person was an obese person. And this person kept going back and getting what he considered to be too much food and wasn't eating it and was sitting down at the table and just eating off a bunch of plates. And all sure. that I could think was, man, there are people in other places of the world that are starving. And this guy is not finishing this food and he doesn't have all of, uh, you know, he, he's not, he's basically wasting is the, is the way that is the way that he looked at it. And the person that he was sitting with said, do you think that him eating that food is why there's a shortage somewhere else? Mm. He said, that's what shifted his mindset on abundance versus scarcity. He said, he realized at that point that that person's greed on themselves, the biggest and most negative impact was that person's ability to share was gone because of their greed. And it wasn't as much because he was taking from someone else, but it's because he wasn't sharing with anyone else because there was enough right. for him to share. I, I was blown away by that, by that example. I was like, man, that's, that's interesting. interesting. Yeah. And, uh, and so, and so from, from a lot of perspectives, we could probably have a two hour podcast just on that conversation. 
But the but the bottom line on this is, do you believe in abundance or do you believe in scarcity? And most importantly, how much are you sharing to expand your own abundance, which ties directly into that compound interest thing that, that we were just talking about as well, right? I like that. Thank you for that. Yeah. So, uh, so Dr. Ben, we've got a, so we want to make sure we're real respectful of everybody's time, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, I got, I got one more question before and then I'm going to ask him. So I'm like, Matt, yes, sir. I got one more question and I'm going to ask you how people um, get, get in touch with you. Yes. Uh, uh, so you can, uh, you can find me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Go oh, ahead, Dr. Ben. Yeah, I got, oh, I got one question before I want, before oh, I want to ask that. <laughs> um, when did you start asking? Man, um, so I've I've always been a very so I've always been been very curious as far as like wanting to know people's stories. Like I've I've been asking that since I was a teenager. I didn't start asking for myself until my thirties, and you know what I and what I mean by that is that I didn't start asking for my own benefit until I had to just become humble, understand that which, you know, you need, if you don't know something, you know, you have to ask, you know, it's, it's, it's okay to ask about other people's experiences. You know, I, I think a lot of people come from this aspect again, as I said earlier, asking means, it uh, means you have a deficit somewhere. It means that, oh, you know, if I'm asking this, I should know this, but, but in actuality, we all have different sort of paths, different stories in, in life. And when I begin to ask, and I, I, I was so surprised at the, re at the response, I was like, oh, this is, oh, this is positive. These people, they are not looking down on me. Or, mm -hmm. uh, or, you know, I asked to join this and, and they're like, well, sure. And, and from there, uh, as, uh, as you said, Matt, it's a, it's the, it's the compound interest, right? So it's like, if you're successful this, this time, then why don't we ratchet up and why, right. and then you'll be successful that time. And it's like a, a ball. It, it's, I always say it's like the small snow, sm snow, snowball rolling down the hill and it just grows and grows and grows. And now I just, I'm just like, Hey man, like, you know, um, are you, uh, are you guys accepting more speakers or, you know, uh, do you mind if I sit in, uh, and, and listen to you or, or, you know, Hey, you know, listen to this podcast. Tell me if there's things that I can improve because ultimately gentlemen, we're all trying to be the very best that we can. That's right. And one way to get there is just by embracing the power of ask. Absolutely. And and knowing that there are other people that can contribute, that I think a, a, a huge thing on this is a lot of people think that you have to go to this guru mentor to no. get this sage advice to be able to, to move yourself forward. And there are so many times I've heard things from people that just absolutely blew my mind that I don't even think they realized what they knew about something until you just, like you said, ask the question and start talking to them about it, because then it goes through your filter. And that's when things really, really get exciting. Absolutely. 100%. 100%. Perfect. Well, the last question I'm going to ask you is <laughs> how do people, how do people get in touch with you? Yes, you can go to my website. That's www.laronbarton.com. It's L it's www.leron.com. B A R T O N dot C O M. You can also find me on LinkedIn. I'm extremely active there, Laron L. Barton. I'm also on, on Instagram at Laron L. Barton. You know, pretty consistent. I'm always looking for a great conversation. Uh let's wow. continue to share ideas and 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 let's and let's build together. Absolutely. I love it. Well, Laron, thank you so much for coming on the show. You are absolutely amazing. We and, gotta uh, we gotta do that again. Yeah, yeah. Scott yeah. does it again. <laughs> 100 percent man like scott scott scott's incredible i mean he's he uh yeah you know he's you know he's he's a special human being so gentlemen thank you so much i really appreciate it absolutely everybody wherever you listen to this whether it be itunes spotify stitcher deezer any of those platforms make sure you hit that follow button if you're watching this on youtube what's up hit that red subscribe button that bell right beside of you get notified every time we drop a new episode uh make sure you uh 
uh, you know, I heard somebody say, make sure you s- slap that like button. Sorry, someone <laughs> slipped for a second. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, uh, and leave a comment down below. There's no better time than the present than to go to brokerpreneurpodcast.com. Check out all the old episodes that we have, as well as some really cool things that we have to help you grow your brokerage. Uh, don't forget, there are a tremendous amount of links um, underneath Laron's um, that can help you grow your brokerage as well. And they're absolutely free resources for you. Matt, we bring on amazing guests like like Ron, <clears throat> excuse me, like Laron Barton for one reason and one reason alone. Tell them why that is. Man, we just want to be part of your win. Thanks, Laron. We sincerely appreciate it.